we want to talk to Jack, who is calling in from Texas. Jack, you are live on Talk Heathen. What's up? I got it right that time. Hi, guys. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Doing, okay. doing okay. Good. What's up? Yeah, I'd like to um, expand on this ontological argument for God's existence, and particularly um, on the basis of the definition. And uh, I define atheism not as a fact that God does not exist, because God is nothing and contradictorily a mental construct. So for atheists, properties of God are nothing. For God That's is nothing. Interesting. Um, as someone who uses the word atheist occasionally to identify myself, I wouldn't describe that that way. Um, I think it's weird that you would also make that presumption about atheists using it that way. Do you know any atheists that you can cite? Do you know atheists that you can cite that use that definition? Because I've, I've never heard that. Have you heard that, Jim? No. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, that's my definition, as I said. And okay. I come to that conclusion because uh, if God doesn't exist, then there's nothing. Is that not true? Well, we mm. don't necessarily <laughs> come to the conclusion that God doesn't exist. This is a very subtle distinction, right? Very subtle. No. And it's a very common misconception. The difference is we can't conclude that God exists. doesn't mean that he doesn't exist. It means that we don't have enough evidence to believe in him. Do you see that there's a difference there? Well, it's very yeah. subtle. It's very and subtle. You, right. And your assumption and, and your statement actually sneaks in uh, a claim that you need to make, which is that God exists and God is uh, two claims, really. One, that God exists. And two, that God is the reason for everything. Those are two separate claims you're smuggling in that you still need to demonstrate are true. Well, I'm going to give you facts, not claims. So. Oh, you just gave us some claims. You gave, us, you gave us some claims for sure. Definitely weren't facts. Definitions aren't facts. That's, I don't know if you know that. Well, definitions refer to facts because they refer to problems. Okay, but de but, but definitions are not facts. Right. You know this. So g g yeah. give, us, give us your evidence. Well, I, yeah. said they I said they refer to facts. Okay, give okay. us your evidence. All right. If you do you, do you want to define a human being as a cat? That's a definition. That's not factual. Can you give us the evidence, please? Okay, the evidence. I'm going to give you the evidence. Um, properties we experience, such as infinity, eternality, or the absolute, meaning not relative, are facts. And we experience them, such as in... We do. We experience the eternity. The limits of the universe... We, how do we experience eternity? Yeah, I don't know what that means. How, how do we experience eternity? Well, uh, because we die. So it's that would not be eternity. Why not? That's the, that be, because we die and we're done. Yeah, there's a no. That doesn't that mean that everything that lives <laughs> experiences eternity because eventually everything dies. If I'm dead, well, if I'm dead, I don't ex experience anything. So I'm not yeah, experiencing true. eternity. That's true. I didn't experience anything before I was born either, so. Well, the opposite is of eternal is finite. Is that true? That's the, definitionally, yes. Fair enough, I guess, yeah. Okay, now you experience finitude every day, right? Yeah, I mean, I eat a meal and it's not there anymore. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Now you're telling me that you don't understand the opposite of that, right? But like, no. how does I, I, don't, I don't understand infinity? Yeah, like we, I've never had an infinite experience. Like, I don't know what that means. Well, I didn't say you did, but yes. Well, you said that, but right. when we, you no, you did say that we experience the infinite. I believe that was one of the facts, yeah. quote unquote, that you laid out, right? Right. Okay. Let me let, let's do this. If you calculate pi. Where are we going? Why are we calculating pi? Yes, pi? Pi, as far as we know and as far as we've been able to calculate, does not repeat itself yeah. and doesn't end. So what? Uh, it's a math. Math. Math is not the territory. Yeah. Math is map I, of the territory. I don't. I don't experience <laughs> pi. I don't experience that. That doesn't. That doesn't. You know. I experienced tiramisu last night. That was good too. Yeah. But if you were, if you were to sit there and divide it 
infinitely. You would understand that. You got to quit it sometimes. But I, I don't. I, I, so, <laughs> that's the thing. That's, that's why not, I, I'm not experiencing infinity. <laughs> that's yeah. I mean, we don't experience that. So. Oh no! You oh, wait a minute. You you understand death. You don't experience it. We don't experience death when we die. We have we we lack the ability to experience. Actually, so I mean, I I have had the I have had the experience of people dying, and I've had the experience yeah. of pets dying, and I've had the yeah, experience have, of plants dying. So I do have some experience with death. I don't have any experience with me personally dying. Yeah. But what does that have to do with anything? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> you experience, you experience, you haven't experienced death, but you understand it. Yes. I mean. I don't what does that experience have to do with infinity. I don't no wait. No no no. No, I disagree. I I don't have experience with death. I've never experienced death. I see people have died. That doesn't mean I experience death. I can see people drive cars. That doesn't mean I have experience driving a car. You know? No. I said you haven't experienced yet experienced death, but you understand yes. what death is. That's correct. Right? Yes. The lack of yes. experiencing things. Right? So you Ooh. haven't experienced infinity, but you understand it. No. Well, I don't because I don't I don't well, see here's here's well, my problem when you say when you say uh, understand infinity because there is nothing infinite as far as we can tell there's nothing infinite in the universe the universe had a beginning we call that beginning the big bang and then it looks and there are multiple hypotheses about what the end is going to be so we don't have the experience of anything that is infinite well, so I, I just looked it up and it says yeah it's it's infinite and what does what, what is who you looked it up the physicist yeah. what physicist no, is saying the universe you, is infinite did, you just typed it into google <laughs> what are you doing did, did, what do you mean you get, i looked did, it up <laughs> is it a still living physicist or are they still doing physics in 2022 I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. now wait a minute you understand death but you haven't experienced it Oh right. my goodness. Okay, so all right. Yes. So what's your point about infinity? Yeah, Why let's does... just, let's just let's just jump the shark. We understand infinity. Okay. Okay. So gonna, what? Well, let's move on. Let's let's move on. So what? And yep. infinity is a property, right? No. I, no it's not it, a value, it's a concept, but yeah, go ahead. What do you, keep going? I didn't say it was a value, I said a property. It's not a property. There, all right, fine, it's a property. Go ahead. Get okay. to it. Fine. Okay. And the absolute is a property, isn't it? Sure. It could be a property of something. It's relative. You understand so relativity, what? so you understand the absolute, which is its opposite. Okay, keep keep going. All right. Okay. And um, so these are properties that cannot be attributed to anyone here in space and time because we live in the relative. We live in the finite. Okay, so what? So the properties must be attributable to an entity beyond here, why? Beyond this. Scope. Why? Why can't they? Why? Why aren't they just concepts that we keep in our head? Well, then they're just nothing because you're. But, well, but yeah, Jack, that's kind I've of my never, point. <laughs> I've never experienced He Man, Jack, but that doesn't mean just because I understand the concept He Man. You know, like He Man Skeletor. You know, like that. Okay, I've never experienced Pikachu. You know, from Pokemon. Here's another example. Okay, but but I understand the concept of Pikachu. He's a little electric mouse guy. So that doesn't mean he exists That's because I, I understand the made up experience. So what? It's an artificial made up experience. Yeah, see, okay. here, see, my my, my problem. The, 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 one of the problems that I have is that infinite and absolute are both concepts. We have no idea if they actually exist. Well, absolute zero, I think we've gotten something close to it, but I don't know that we've gotten there yet. Yeah. Uh, so so absolute in terms of, of temperature, but absolute, it, they're mathematical concepts. Yes, but that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean the opposite exists. They all explained it to you perfectly. Just because... Well, uh, the finite exists does not automatically mean the infinite exists. Why not? You need to demonstrate that. You have 
Well, sure. Okay. You have paradigms, do you not? Such as Points paradigms or concepts. Quite simple. Boy, boy, yeah, no. those are concepts. No, concepts. No, they're not. You have a right hand and a left Paradigm. Hand, not a concept. That's a concept. The, the, what I've do you mean? Of course, hands. it's a concept. What <laughs> I have you say two it's hands not? that I call one my left hand and one my right hand is certainly a concept because left and right aren't real things. They're things that we have. They're they're concepts that we have attributed to the appropriate sides of our body. So yeah, they're oh, concepts. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you're, I, you're confusing the map for the territory. The territory is that I have two hands, one on either side of my body. The map is that I have a left one and a right one. Does that make sense? Oh, I see. Uh, not really, because you you do know the difference between right and left, and it shifts. Yes, uh, yes that's a because it's a concept. It's how I'm mapping the territory. It's the map I keep in my head as to what the actual territory is, to what the reality is. That's all a concept oh, is. Oh no, you ex no, no, you express it every day when you drive because there's a line saying right and left. Yes. 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 They're because concepts. we have the because we have the concept of right and left. And I don't have to say left or right. I can say that, that I, you turn uh, east at the uh, at the intersection and not left at the intersection. The east and left could refer to the same thing. I didn't know that intersection, they can refer to completely opposite things. But if I'm talking about a particular intersection, the concept of left and east are relative to that intersection. The intersection is the territory. Left, right, left and east are the map in my head of how I express and describe that reality, that uh, territory. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a concept. Mm -hmm. You're getting them mixed right, up. up and down. Yeah, up and down, and left, and uh, how about the uh, up, and, up and down? Logical and illogical. No, see here, up and down is really, really easy, right? Because if we get where there's no gravity, there's no up. I, I think Jack. I think like you're. It sounds like you have a problem with. There's up and down. Jack, Jack. It sounds. It sounds like. See, no, sort of, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It sounds like you have an issue with the word concept because you think concepts mean that it can't exist. Like existence and concepts are mutually exclusive, but they're not. Like a concept can exist, it just doesn't exist in a physical world in the same way that like I exist or a chair exists. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so so that it, well, we it's okay. Concepts on we we impose concepts, but and it's imposed. Right, you know, I, I agree with you. There's a concept of right and left, but there is a fact of right and left. Okay. Whatever you want. No, no, there's want, it's. I don't care. No, they're, they're, well, the, the right and left is not a territory. It's not a thing that we can actually, that exists outside of our own concept. Yeah, it's in right? our minds. It doesn't exist outside of our minds. And, and it only exists because we have relatively symmetric bodies. If we had asymmetric bodies, left and right wouldn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Well, what if there's just one side of you? That's what I just said. If there's an asymmetric, if we had asymmetrical bodies, left and right would make no sense. Okay, you've named it, but what if, is there only one side of you? On an asymmetrical body? Yeah, that's the definition. That would be the definition of asymmetrical body. Yes. Okay, so. A body that only has one arm or one leg on one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's an asymmetrical body. One arm, one leg. In this case, yes. Just to keep it all, do we could okay. it, it, the body form doesn't really make a difference, but yes, left and right only make sense on a symmetrical body that you can describe yeah. a left and right on an asymmetrical body. It makes no sense. And yeah, I, I think this is all the time we have for this call now, Jack. Um, okay. But conceptually, I think you should call in again, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I would agree with that concept. Maybe we can talk about it. Another I think he time. dropped. Uh, yeah, um, I said, "Yep, what a concept." I could use a little fuel myself and we could all use <laughs> a little change.